Hidden in plain sight, this creepy abandoned house has sat untouched for 30 years. With no background information available, it is a mystery to why it was abandoned and what secrets it holds inside. From the overgrown yard to the creaky front door, every inch of this place is filled with an unsettling feeling and I can't help but to feel like we weren't alone. Join us as we explore this abandoned house and try to uncover the secrets that have been hidden away for decades. Starting off in a bedroom of this one on the top floor and it has some creepy vibes to it. Eerie, really eerie. Not really liking it so far, but we're still gonna explore it. Let's get at it. Insulation and glass. Look at the old tiles. Screams 70s. Old tile work on the ceiling. There's Mike. Is there much else in these other rooms? No, there's, I went up there too, there's nothing up there. There's a bathroom here, it seems to be a bathtub in every room I'm going to. There's what? It seems to be a bathtub in every room I'm going to. Oh, this one? There's one here, there's one here. Really? There's a couple downstairs, I believe. It's not where they're all coming from. It's got the old wood slats around the window frame. It's old. We got a couple sinks here. It's a funky smell in this room. Very funky. Ugh. This is the bathroom. Oh, oh yeah, old blue tub. Boxed in, look how tight that is to the toilet. Probably be a lot of transport traffic by this house. If you just heard that in the background. What a weird setup for a bathroom. This is tiny. It's like being in a little closet. That's it for up here, right? Yeah. yeah. Sketchy, tight looking stairs. I'm not gonna be able to reach that. It looks like an empty storage room from what I can see. Lovely spider webs. Street light a window right out to the street. Don't like that. Step ladder, washing machine and stuff. And another bathtub. Look at this feature here. Got a pass through, a nook. No, I'm drawing a blank, I can't remember what they're called. A window. Duh. Into the kitchen. Or the, is this even the kitchen? And there's a fridge in here. Hmm? You forgot what a window was? Yeah, like. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Yeah, if I, th I think if I forgot what a window was, I'd have to go home and go to bed. Okay, I'm going to assume this was the kitchen. What's left of it? Old bamboo curtains on the floor there. Weird. This maybe was... Yeah, they probably just brought the fridge out here. No, because, yeah, the fridge and stove. Do I dare open the fridge? Not that bad. I'm not going to press my luck with the freezer. So it's just back to the kitchen. Yes.
imagine this is just a closet. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around with all that to get to a closet. Look at the old doorknob and lock. That's decent. Is that it for the main floor? Oh, there's another area? Look at the ceiling up there. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's some shoddy repair work. It's just plywood. Weird. Okay, that's down into the basement. Looks inviting, doesn't it? Another couch. A big rug. Oh, we got a painting in this room. Back to the old tiles. Nice big mirror. Those look like raccoon prints. Nice sliding door inside. Here we go, some of the old wallpaper underneath. A little bit of stuff left in this room too. Not a whole lot. That's just the kitchen there, right? Yeah. What's interesting, you can tell it's an addition. So you have this hundred year old house and they throw an addition on. And the addition is the only part that's actually collapsing. So the kitchen's the addition? Yeah, it's got cinder block walls. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Different shape on the ceiling. And that's the only part that's fucking moldy and falling apart. Yeah, the new addition. The old original house is still, I mean, not in good shape, but. Still got some bones. Yep. Oh, exciting. We get to go down to this. Nice looking basement. <sighs> Stairways are so tight in this one, and this one's short. We'll go around the other way, see if we can get any info off of this. 87 is the date on that. So the last time this furnace was checked was in 87. Is that a dead animal? I think there's a dead squirrel. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Oh, this place is creepy. I don't even know how to explain it. I haven't seen anything overly creepy. I've just had this creeped out feeling since I came inside. Another bathroom and bathtub with just cement walls. All right. Looks like a tool room. I think it's going to be a safe bet that it was a electrician or a carpenter or somebody like that that lived in here. I can't wait to do research. I got some glass blocks. Oh, they were up in there, because there's one left. It's a 
dirt floor with carpet over top. Yeah, more of the glass blocks on the floor. Beautiful doors, like leaned up against every doorway in here. Like in the basement. This is old red door. Let's see what's on the other side of that, see if it goes anywhere. Pitchfork. Yeah, I think I'm ready to end this one off and get out of here. Made our way through this one. I couldn't get out of here quick enough. I've just got the weirdest vibes in here. Like I said, I can't wait to do some research. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments if you saw anything that I missed. And as always, I'll see you on the next adventure.